it's me, Cheeky Blue, and welcome to the 24th episode of Sanctuary Area, where today we are going to be building the enchanting tower setup you saw in the intro. So let's get into it. Now I'm very excited because today I was a little bit prepared, which is why this video is a little bit late. Sorry about that. But I have gathered all of our materials. Actually, there's more than I'm actually going to be using, and some of them we're going to be crafting with the supplies. With the exception of the fact that I completely forgot about one stone wall, one anvil, and and one iron bar. These are technically optional there to make the spire on the roof but that's basically it. So yeah back to the video. Anyway so today we are going to be building an enchanting table right about here which is above our cow farm which is why it is so noisy sorry about that and we are going to build it in this like rough little circle I've built here. Because we are right above our cow farm I'm going to be using the same material so our stripped oak and our stripped birch and so if we climb our way back up the mountain and we grab our logs we can start building up our tower. So what we're going to start with we're going to start by using oh, uh birch sorry <laughs> i said oak and we're going to stagger it which sounds weird but i promise you it's cool and because this is going to be like our base level is going to be here you want everything to be like so that none of this stuff is visible so if we just quickly go like this we want all of this to be covered in as well and we're just you know just touching up little details like this but i mentioned staggering so basically we can strip this all later but for our staggered appearance what we're going to do is we're going to make the birch go up to different heights which i think is going to look absolutely awesome so for example like here maybe it goes up like three and it goes up two here and it goes up like in all just all these different heights so that i don't know i just think it looks cool and the reason we're using that is kind of to transition into oak logs and so i'm just going to start building this up and if you're following this kind of like a tutorial we're going to be building up to around 12 high that is the height i thought was cool and so that's what we're going to be working with we're going to be building these up and of course stripping these because then you'll see that they blend much better than they did before Okay, so now that we have the base, I was going to be like, let's do the windows, but I think it's a thunderstorm. So let's just go, yep, yep, it's a thunderstorm. So let's just go sleep real quick. And that's much better, hopefully. Hopefully it'll clear out. Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> well, now that we have our base on, if we pop down here, I think it is actually, yeah, it is looking really good. I know it's really tall, but hopefully once we get a, a roof on this place, it'll look a lot more balanced, I guess. We also have to add some windows, which is what we're about to do. So I'm going to start off with, I have this little door here, but I want to put a little like, yeah, just like a little bit to make it seem like less, I guess an indent to make it seem less just like out of nowhere. And if we just build up a bit, I think we need to put some windows on this place. Well, now it is time for us to do our windows. So I've marked out our door and it's got our little, you know, in bit, but we need some windows on all these sides. So the first window we are going to put, it's going to sit, I think it should sit right on the like second block. So like not in the floor, but pretty close, like about here. And then it's gonna go two up with the glass and then have another little indent. I know you might be like, hey Tricky, that's um that's four. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And it's because it's going to have a cute little window like that. I just think it's cute when it has an indent. Really love it. I really do. And then how about if we go two up and then do the same thing again if we put down a is that the right way? Yeah it is. And then two glass panes. And you know what? Let's just chuck this in here anyway. We can always cover it later. We have a cute little window. So now that we kind of have the idea of our windows, I'm just going to quickly just go around the place and keep adding them. I want to have some on all the sides. And I think they're going to be really cute. I will get back to you once I've got the, like, the window bits. <laughs> Okay, so I've put the windows on, but I think what they need is just a couple of extra details. So we're gonna just chuck some slabs and maybe even a stair. This is like kind of like little window sills and extra details. So let's just quickly pop those on all of our windows. Well, now that we've got our window sills on, I think it's time while we're doing this to add on some trapdoor details. Actually, I've got my trapdoors out already and they are going to go just about here. And they're just gonna be two little levels of trapdoors. Now, this is really great for adding like extra detail like dimension i guess 
but I'm mainly doing this because for our enchanting setup, the bookshelves are gonna have to go on the walls and, oh, not like that, but we don't want it to see them. We're just being sneaky, but I honestly do think it's really cute and it does add to the build. So I'm just gonna continue working my way around here and adding bookshelves everywhere. Bookshelves, ah, uh, that's not what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> And on this front one, because there's this window here, we're just gonna use these as like little shutters, even though I'm severely struggling to get them on the right way. Yeah, there we go, much better. Now, I also wanna add some leaves, but I think that'll be better once we have the roof on. So let's get the roof on. Like, <laughs> of course we have to build up again, which is not ideal, but I mean, oh my God. <laughs> I've got to grab everything we're gonna need for the roof. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I've grabbed everything. Let's just head up here. I wish I had scaffolding. So for this roof, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give ourselves a little bit more breathing room by placing like upside down stairs on all of these outer blocks. Oh, oh that one's thrown away. Stairs are difficult. <laughs> it's just not happening. <laughs> oh my God, no. no. This one just doesn't like. Oh, this is why we have trapdoors. And now in between these platforms, we're gonna place a spruce slab. Then we're gonna go around the like three by three bits of this main bit, just with spruce stairs again, but this time it's gonna be normal way building up. Are we gonna have enough? Ooh, perfect amount. How often that happens. This next bit, we're gonna be, oh, why did I do that on that side? We're gonna build up. I can't actually remember how to do this. Okay, so I got this kind of right. It's the opposite though. I do believe that we are going to do stone in stairs on either side and then stone in the middle like this. So we're just gonna kind of do a weird combination of blocks and stairs in the corner and hopefully it'll look all right then for this next one we're gonna just build up one up again like so add a stair all going up to all of these points another piece of stone and this one is where we're gonna put the spire it's a little bit expensive for quite a lot of iron because we're gonna be using an anvil and then a stone wall there we go and on top of that an iron bar now, obviously, we can't get a very good view from here, but if we jump down, that looks good. Ooh, there we go. And, oh, it's too dark, but in the morning, hopefully we'll see. It looks pretty good. Oh, I accidentally broke all my sugar cane. Um, that, that's a bit of a problem, but it's all right. And you can't see still. Okay, we're just gonna run pretty far back, and boom, you can see it. I think it looks really good. Of course, the spire is optional, but I love that extra height it adds. And just like that, our outside is complete. However, I do want to add those leads I was talking about before. So let's just quickly start placing those down. Now, I have to tell you guys, I really think this place is coming together. I mean, the leaves do really bring it to life, but that's just the outside. We need to head into the interior. So I've already put the floor in, but this place really needs some decoration. And to start off with, we're gonna take use of its height, which is kind of the whole point, it's a tower. And we're gonna divide this place into two sections. The bottom half just being purely decorative and kind of cool. And then the top half being where an actual enchanting setup is. So I think I'm gonna start by making some spruce slab and they're gonna be kind of the floor. So we're just gonna start by building up. We're going to build up till seven blocks, I think. And this is where our floor is gonna be. Yeah, that is perfect. And that's actually perfect because it means we have the perfect amount of slab. So if we just jump down here, you can see that we have our floor. But how are we gonna get up there? Great question. And that is why I present to you a bubble elevator. Now, this is totally unnecessary and probably, probably what? Then, I mean, like, it looks awesome. That's why I have it. But ladders, which I'm gonna use to get down anyway, would probably be better. But I think these are kind of the fun way to go. And it's where we're gonna just use a bunch of, like, fun decoration blocks to kind of, like, hold it in. So because our bubble column is gonna go right up here, what we need to do is we need to have blocks on the other sides to keep water. So we're gonna use a mix of of looms not like that facing in the other direction because they look like shells like empty bookshelves and we're going to also use uh spruce just to fill in the gap salt is actual bookshelves and barrels and i think it's just a really cute combination i honestly really love this and it's actually practical as well because we can use the barrels as extra storage for like enchantment enchanted books or lapis and now i know what you're thinking okay that's all well and good it goes down the side but the water's still going to spill at this point and yep you're right and so that is why we are going to use the rest of our trap doors and they're going to go right along here now to start off with we're just going to chuck a spruce door in here like that that's also going to block off the water for us and then we're going to put all our trap doors down just like so perfect now because making bubble elevators are weird you need to put your water in like so 
then you can't just put soul sand down the bottom, which is what goes up and magnets go down. You need to make them all soul blocks, not soul blocks, soul blocks. So that's what we use to count. Then of course we just add our soul sand in and boom, just like that. Oh my gosh, my voice. I'm so sorry, my voice. And then just like that, we've got our cute little shoot up the top. Unfortunately, we can't go back down it. So we are going to just make a little drop hole and I am going to put like water there eventually. But for now, we've just got this chest here, which is it's a bit annoying. But if we grab all of our stuff that we're going to use for our enchants, I think it's time that we actually make the enchantment table. Here goes, here goes the exciting bit. We made one. Let's head right up, right on up. Now, because I made this room too small, you, you really want like a nine by nine area or an eight little circle thing surrounding your enchantment table. So to get around that, we can do something a little weird and that is, it is a bit weird, but we're gonna remove the walls and put in crafting table, not crafting tables. We're gonna put in our bookshelves there. And that is why our trap doors and leaves are here because no one's gonna look super closely and these will cover majority of it. And so hopefully if we just put all of our bookshelves in and just like that, we should have a 30 by 30 enchantment. Not that I can get any. Oh, I could actually get one, but my soul is pretty rubbish, so we won't. But we have our little enchantment set up and of course we can do some decorating adding some shelves but for now we've got the base cocoon and i love it well we just need a few little finishing touches and then i think this place is done Just like that, everybody, I honestly think our build is done. We have our amazing tower, and I'm honestly really happy with how it turned out. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I know this episode has been a little bit all over the place. Honestly, I think the build speaks for itself, and it turned out all right. But yeah, that is going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like or comment down below if you enjoyed. I'm happy to hear whatever you have to say. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much again just for watching and i will hopefully see you all later bye